literally the first time the robot has operated without a tether was on stage tonight. Tesla's 2023. Investor Day featured the company's most recent Optimus humanoid robot, which offered a preview of where advancements are at. After being first unveiled 19 months ago, the Tesla bot can now move, pick objects up, and perform simple activities. Elon Musk gave a brief presentation on the Optimus prototype, appearing unusually reserved. He mentioned that the device needed to be unveiled on stage in order to be waived like a politician as late as October of last year. It's worth bearing in mind that when we did AI Day, this version of Optimus didn't walk at all, Musk stated. Thus, this improvement is happening at a rather good rate. It is clearly not engaging in parkour, but it is moving and we seem to have more than one copy of Optimus. In the video, Optimus is seen moving around, albeit quite slowly compared to Boston Dynamics Atlas robot, which can perform parkour. In a moment, where one Optimus robot unplugs a severed Optimus arm from a test stand, picks it up, and brings it across to a workstation where another bot is working on a third, it also uses its opposable thumbs and hands that resemble human hands. Through some deft editing, it appears as though in a prototype of Android-based manufacturing, the first robot is keeping the arm in position while the second robot bolts it onto the third robot. It is not alone if it experiences less suffering than Atlas. For a considerable amount of time, Atlas has been the most sophisticated humanoid robot in existence. However, it's crucial to remember the background. Boston Dynamics has been developing biomimetic robots since 1992. It debuted the first humanoid Petman robot in 2009, and two years later, it was demonstrated to be able to kneel, squat, walk, and balance against push forces. After making its premiere in 2013, Atlas needed a whole 10 years to learn how to dance, do parkour, and start doing some simple chores. Giving the young Optimus bot some time to catch up sounds reasonable. The thing that Tesla brings to the table that others don't have is that we're the most advanced in real-world AI, Musk stated. So, the vehicle's AI is the same as, this is a robot on legs, and the car can be thought of as a robot on wheels. Nobody comes close to Tesla's level of proficiency in real-world AI, in my opinion. If you have to program every action for your humanoid robot, it's not very useful. It must be able to move around on its own and complete duties. Simple commands should be able to be given to it by simply telling it what to do or by graphically demonstrating the task at hand. That's our main competitive edge. We're also good at designing things for manufacturing and manufacturing at scale, he went on. All of the Tesla actuators in Optimus are specially made by Tesla. Everything else that goes into Optimus, including the electric motor, gearbox, power electronics, and, of course, the battery pack, was designed by us. The limited selection that was readily available off the shelf caught us off guard. We discovered that out of all the electric motors, gearboxes, and other components available in the world, not a single one was suitable for use in a humanoid robot. Thus, the robot's actuators were created by the same team that created the groundbreaking electric motors found in, for example, the Model S Plaid. This implies that, practically speaking, we ought to be able to launch a usable product at a far faster rate than anyone else. Assuming the things I'm saying are true, at least they are true, it's just a question of the timing you start getting into interesting questions, he continues. There are applications for robots in the household and industry, especially for humanoid robots. I believe that the ratio of humanoid robots to humans may be higher than one. At that point, it's not even apparent what an economy entails. What is the real limit of the economy if it is defined as output per person times individuals, but if output is substantially greater and there is no limit on persons? Although we're still a long way from Kardashev scales, we're making progress. The Tesla bot is still moving forward at full speed and Musk continues to feel that investors are still in the dark about it. It's probably the least understood or appreciated part of what we're doing at Tesla, but will probably be worth significantly more than the car side of things long term, he stated. China has long aspired to lead developing industries like artificial intelligence and quantum computing. Its new objective is to build lifelike robots that can replicate human behaviors and emotions. China is set to develop its first humanoid robots by 2025, according to a plan announced by the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. In addition, the initiative seeks to develop talent, 
establish industry standards, encourage international collaboration, and support additional companies in the field. The news, according to Bloomberg, lifted the stocks of Chinese robotics companies because it represented a new front in the tech battle between the two biggest economies in the world, China and the U.S. U.S. businesses like Boston Dynamics and Tesla have been setting the standard for the development of sophisticated robots. According to the ministry, China, the largest producer of electronics in the world, expects to make strides in the next two years in fields including motion control, environment sensing, and human-machine interaction. It also called for increased study on flexible robot limbs and the application of artificial intelligence to robotics. The plan was broad in scope but imprecise in details. China also aims to create a dependable supply chain system and intelligent, learning and thinking humanoid robots by 2027. It is anticipated that humanoid robots will perform a growing number of human-like functions such as shopping and performing dangerous job duties. A number of American businesses are ahead of the curve in this area. For example, Boston Dynamics' Atlas robot can perform backflips while Tesla is developing its Optimus humanoid robot. Three years ago, Boston Dynamics was purchased by Hyundai Motor Group of South Korea for a sum of $1.1 billion. In order to build a humanoid robot, a California business named Figure raised $70 million this year. A guiding statement outlining the main goals and roles for promoting China's development of humanoid robots was produced by the ministry. By 2025, the country hopes to have established a basic framework for humanoid robot innovation, characterized by substantial progress in vital components such as brains, cerebellum, and limbs, guaranteeing a reliable and effective supply of vital components. The production quality of these robots is hoped to meet strict international requirements, allowing for large-scale manufacturing. It is anticipated that these robots will demonstrate their usefulness in a multitude of contexts, from industry to everyday activities. In addition, two to three internationally significant ecological enterprises, as well as a number of niche small and medium-sized businesses, are to be nurtured by 2025. In addition, two to three development clusters using novel business models will be established. It is anticipated that humanoid robots will have considerably improved technologically by 2027, creating an industry supply chain that is secure, dependable, and has a competitive ecosystem on a global scale. With a wider range of application scenarios and firmly integrated related products into the real economy, the industry will accelerate large-scale development and emerge as a crucial new driver of economic growth. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, then don't forget to hit that like button below. And if you want to stay updated with more great content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button.